Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training, we will be learning about language translation using Node.js. We will be creating a small utility using a NPM module called Translate. Translate module translates a given string into other languages such as Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, etc. So first of all, we need to install this module. Let's go into our terminal and create a folder called translate or let's call it uh, node translate don't name it translate because the name of the module npm module is also translate so it will conflict with your folder name so keep it something else so i'm using node translate for this I'm going to set permissions for my folder node translate let's go into this folder node translate and I'm going to initialize my project npm init y it will create package.json and now I'm going to install the translate module npm install translate this will install the translate module in my project directory there you go and now we need to create a file called let's call it do translate.js and it is a simple code const translate you need to create an object of the translate from the translate library so and you need to define a async we are going to find async function called translate string and this function will be receiving a string variable and a translate to variable and within this async function we are going to use translate.engine and we are going to set it to liber await dot translate and we are going to pass the string that is coming from another source and translate to and I'm going to console dot log the translated string we can call it translated string as well just to be clear what we are doing and in the bottom you can simply call the translate string function and you can pass it the string you want to translate and the language to which you want to translate es refers to spanish english to spanish so let's save our code and let's go to the console and run it this do translate.js we got an error so let's see what this error says it says unexpected token okay there is no dot after the await function so let's save it and run it again and now we got hola hola means hello in spanish Similarly, we can transfer translate it into Chinese and Chinese is CZ I think ZH okay so okay we get hola and hello translate string ZH what about just a second was Z H I think F R let's transfer it into French 
इसके वी गॉट बॉन्जोर विच मीन्स हेलो इन फ्रेंच लेट्स ट्रांसलेट इट इन टू जर्मन फॉर जर्मनी वी गॉट डी ई एंड देर यू गो हालो इफ यू वॉन्ट इट टू ट्रांसफर इन टू अरबिक यू कैन डू दैट एज वेल सो वी गेट अरबिक सो यू कैन डू इट वाइस वर्सा एज वेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसलेट फ्रॉम इंग्लिश टू अरबिक यू कैन डू दैट एज वेल यूजिंग दिस पावरफुल लाइब्रेरी देर आर थ्री इंजन दैट आर सपोर्टेड दिस बाय दिस मोड्यूल वन इज गूगल द अदर वन इज येंडेक्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज लेबर दैट वी आर यूजिंग नाउ द बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग लेबर इज इट इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट ट्रांसलेट इंजन एंड देर इज नो ए पी आई की रिक्वायर्ड एट ऑल सो यू कैन यूज इट इन योर एप्लीकेशन विद योर आईज क्लोज नो नीड फॉर ए पी आई की बट फॉर गूगल एंड येंडेक्स यू नीड द ए पी आई कीज Let me show you the website of this module. It's called Liber Translate, and here you can check on your own. You can translate from Spanish to English. You can translate from Arabic to English. You can do anything you want. You can let's transfer from English to Chinese. Hello world. Z H. Okay. It's not properly translating into Chinese right now. It is the API is a little buggy between English and Chinese. So we can try with English to Russian. Okay, we got Russian now, and Russian is R U. So in our code, let's try Hello World and R U. Save the file. Let's run it on the console. and there you go we got the string in russian so that is this is pretty exciting and you can now install this module and you can check the documentation on the npmjs.com website the translate module so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel feel free to contact me at my email address umemood@gmail.com my linkedin profile or my twitter handle see you next time with a new topic in node js